I have this attitude that um, sometimes you hear better by seeing and sometimes you see better by, by hearing and that's synesthesia and it's not like it denudes the musical process at all. Some purists would argue that it does but all I say to them is opera. So for a number of years we've been making surf films ranging from you know full length feature film called The Reef to um, a shorter live performance structure called The Glide. And a lot of people have been asking why I don't do something with mountains and skiing. And I say, well, because skiing films are boring. I find them pretty boring. You know, the, the sea is a far easier landscape to make it beguiling and, and attractive. And then the urging didn't stop. I was talking about it with my colleague Julian Thompson and he mentioned Jen Pedem, the uh, acclaimed director. And so we spoke with Jen about this and came up with the idea of, well, of it being mountain, so all encompassing, you know, the, the geology, the geography, what people do on the mountains, what people have been doing to the mountains. And so that's the genesis. We were able to draw on Renan's extensive uh, archival footage, things that haven't been seen before, and if things have been seen before, then they recontextualized. Renan's footage of Denali uh, was the first bit of grand footage that we saw, and we just cut it up, you know, really roughly to fit a, a, a score of I suppose you could call it extreme hardcore modernism. And it was almost like a, a sort of a alien world. And I said, well, actually, this for me is the, the center of the film. Like, this is the real heart of it. And what's been good about here has been the immediacy of being able to work with the visuals, uh, but also the more mysterious side of things, the intangible, uh, effects of being in this landscape. There's something about this sort of sepia gray scale, which I personally find incredibly um, inspirational. I, I like it when people have their uh, first experience with classical music. I, I love nothing more than somebody having a life changing experience, having heard an orchestra for the first time. And on the other hand, the classic music aficionado who says, I had no idea that grunge could affect me in such an astonishing way. And I think these kinds of projects offer more people that kind of experience. <laughs>